Hi everybody, it's Claire with day 18 of the Art by Marlene advent calendar. So today we got the little curly arrow dies um, and I decided I would do a tag. So I'm starting off using um, some orangey tones. So I've used um, tangerine and blushing. Blushing's not a colour that I often choose to use. I um, don't really know why, I'm just not very drawn to oranges I think really, unless it's of course in a rainbow. So um, there was no gesso on the tag, I just went straight in with the um, colours. And then I got one of the mini stencils from one of the earlier days and used cheddar over the top of those oranges and just used the stencil up one way and then reversed it and then followed that up with a tag. So just kind of adding a bit more detail onto the background. And then once that was dry, I then started layering up using um, some of the other stencils that we got on, I um, can't remember which days, but these pretty flower ones. So I'm using the Permanent Red Violet Light from Amsterdam Acrylic and just adding this nice uh, flower stencil onto the tag too. And then I decided I would add a bit of a contrasting colour, so I went in with some turquoise and again just using another one of those flower stencils and just adding some uh, flashes of turquoise onto that tag as well. And you notice now the colours really pop, don't they? Now that that turquoise is there, it adds a really nice contrast to uh, the colours that were there already. So then I decided that I was going to use this lady that's kind of facing backwards and I wanted something for her to be standing on. So I got a piece of music paper and using a glue stick, just stuck that onto the bottom of the page. Then I used a bit of watered down umber from Dina Wakely Media, popped that on top just to um, give that a little bit of colour, um, but not wanting to really detract from what was going on on the tag already. Then I decided that that was okay, but mm, very interesting. So I went into the Art by Marlene uh, little books of die cuts that she's got um, and found one that would work at the bottom of that mu music paper that I'd stuck on the bottom of the tag. It's one that's got sort of blacks and whites and different patterns on it. Stuck that in place and then that kind of, I don't know, just felt that worked better. So then using a glue stick, I've stuck the figure in place and then I'm um, going to be sticking the arrows in in a minute. I also found a stop sign, which I thought was really cool because it kind of worked with where my thinking was going with this tag, which was about like stopping and taking a breath. Um, somebody who has been watching my videos, kind well actually there were two people that gave me a couple of ideas of ways that you can stick dies on. Um, because I'd been using the glue stick and of course it had got really gone messy and gone through the dye and someone suggested using PVA glue with a makeup sponge and just dabbing the glue onto the back. Well thank you for that because it really works well so um, that's what I did. I've also added a bit of a shadow to one side of each of those images that are on the uh, page. So this is what you can see me doing here using the PVA glue and a makeup sponge and I am just dabbing the glue onto those and it does work incredibly well and look there's no mess it's brilliant oh so it's fabulous learning all the time I love that so these are kind of representing like too many things coming at you at once and I think this time of year can get a bit like that there's a lot to do a lot to get ready a lot to prepare and especially with this uncertain time with Covid as well um it can just feel like there's just so much going on can't it and that's kind of what this tag is representing so I'm using my Posca pen, I'm just adding a border to the edge of the tag too. And then I'm using my rub-on letters from the Art by Marlene Essential range. I'm going to be using those to add my um, words onto the tag. I love these letters, they are fabulous. They are so easy to use. But like I've said before, I have found that I've run out of certain letters very quickly. So I have to find something to do with all the odd letters that I've got left. I've got a few ideas, but that will be another video for another time, I think. So I'm adding the words, just stop and breathe. 
that's what we all need to do sometimes, isn't it? Just take a breath and, uh, I don't know, just almost step off for a little bit. Okay, so that's the words added. And I knocked my camera there, apologies about that. <clears throat> then I'm using um, a Signo Uniball in white in a minute. Oh, no, I lie. I'm using a Posca pen and just continuing the dots on the bottom of the dress. It's, they were just on the bottom and I've added them up the other stripes as well. Then using the Signo Uniball and just highlighting those arrows just on one side, just to help them pop out a little bit more. And then I just start faffing a little bit, really. <laughs> and then that's it. That's day 18. So thanks for watching. Um, come back again tomorrow to see day 19. Gosh, we're nearly there already. I can't believe it. I'll see you again soon. <laughs>